The first demo shows how Alice uses the patient portal of an EHR to consent to health information exchange, to opt into health information exchange. Uh, in this case, we're going to uh, first start by resetting the demo, which you should do as well when you do this. We ask you to enter an email address. So that we keep track of who is uh, viewing us and we will not use that information for anything else. The reset takes a couple of seconds and starts everybody from the same point. The first thing that's going to happen is Alice is going to log in to the patient portal and introduce her HIE of one patient-centered EHR. She identifies it by her uh, email address, her medical email address, and we're showing how we're using uh, shej.xyz as a personal domain. Uh, these things cost only a dollar a year to register, so they're quite affordable. So Alice enters this uh, uh, email address which points to her HIE of 1 into the patient portal and uh, as the standards would have it she now has to log in again into her HIE of 1. This is a very important feature of uh, this method because the double login eliminates the need for patient matching, which we all know is uh, really an unsolved problem, uh, because Alice uh, is logging into both uh, sides of the connection. Uh, and this is very similar to the way we do things in, say, banking and connecting one account to another. Alice is now presented with a resource registration consent. This is equivalent to the opt-in of an HIE that uh, she would have been seeing. I'm not going to go through the uh, components of the consent, but this screen is captured and available at hieof1.org as one of the images. So she just clicks Allow Registration. Which takes her back to the patient portal with a confirmation message. At this point, Alice is done. Uh, she could uh, sign out of the patient portal, but we also provide um, a convenience link, you might say, back so that Alice, if she chooses, could look at her HIE of 1 and at her patient-centered EHR that she has just connected another practice to. So on this list of uh, connected resources, so far we have two, obviously. Uh, the one she just connected here at the bottom, MDNOSH for Dr. Smart, and her patient-centered EHR that she had before. Uh, she then can click the Go There button, the green button, and actually visit her own patient-centered EHR, which has a patient portal, just like you would expect. And on this patient portal, she can, for instance, look at her medications. And she happens to have one at this point in time. With this, we are done with demo number one and can go and log out. Close the windows and move on.